Hey guys, Justin here from MathFileFolderGames.com. I'm here to share another one of my uh, games from my, today's from my fifth grade file folder math games. I have a challenge for myself to share a math game every day for a month, for 30 days. So, <clears throat> see how that goes. I'm, maybe I'll fall off, but who knows. So today, today's game, we're not gonna use dice today, but today's game is coming fifth grade book. And I love games, so today, and this is a different, this is not a, your traditional multiplication and addition game. This is an ordered pair, a, a coordinate, coordinate plane game. Uh, so the objective is to, of the game is to graph points on a coordinate plane. So it's a two-player game. Uh, I don't know how, I guess you could team up and partner, and you can, well, that's the, that's the beauty of games, is you can adapt and modify games. But today's game is really just a two-player game. And all you need is the board. I like them in page protectors because you're in need <clears throat> um, whiteboard erasers, or you could have it laminated, or you could just give up copies, and I guess you have to use lots of photocopies, which is fine too. So everybody, X and O's, tic-tac-toe, essentially. And in this game, you is, um, deal 10 cards per player. So let's say this player right here has 10 cards, he's looking at them, he's looking at, he can pick any card he wants, he has to pick two cards, and the game is they actually, like you can change this rule, but I kind of like it. It has to be red and black, one red, one black, right? And you can assign the red is X and the Y is, and the black is Y, or you can have them choose. I like having them choose, like, because for example, we have a five and a jack. So jacks are 11, because this board goes all the way up to 13. So this is great, this is fifth grade. So you can, you can use the face cards. So you got the jack and the five, so it could either be um, five, be or 5x as in 11 is y, or vice versa, you can choose. So this is x and o's, you're trying to get four in a row, diagonal, horizontal, or, or vertical, I guess. So this, you could plot this one over five, up 11, that's what I did on, on the example. And then these cards are discarded, and they move on. So the next person, next student, will grab his, his deck, he'll pick his two cards, uh, four and a two. So he can choose either four or two, two or four on his um, coordinate plane and graph that, and he uses an X. So they just go, go around, plotting X and Y. I like having two different colors, and plotting their points, and they're trying to get four in a row. So now they only have eight cards in their hand, so they can use any of these eight cards. So there's a little more strategy to it, so they can look at their board, see what they need, and put them together and do it. And once they run out of cards to make pairs, they just pick five more cards, add it to their hand, and they go again. And they keep doing that until someone wins. And obviously you can discard, discard pile turns into the, to the, to the draw pile. Yeah, so that's a pretty simple game. Pretty, it's actually quite fun. I love um, X and O games. So, um, and then most students know the rules already so they can jump right into it. It's uh, obviously a lot more complicated on a coordinate plane. So they finding the correct ordered pair to make the four in a row um, a little harder, but it's kind of fun. And it's a great game to play with the, the students. So, if you want this game, all you have to do, if you've already got caught on to watching these videos, is leave a comment below. Share maybe a modification of this game or share an adaptation of this game. Just share something that will help fellow math teachers. And then I'll, then I'll message this over to you. And if you want the entire book, head on over to my, to my website at mathfilecolorgames.com slash store. And if you use the discount code mathisfun, you'll get this entire book for 50% off or anything in my store for 50% off. Um, so this, this game is kind of, kind of fun. I just want to leave one little tip. Um, the thing about math games that I love is the conversation, the strategy, or we call it math talks. So you, as a teacher, playing with a student or watching or observing, you can facilitate, you can ask those questions and start hearing what they're thinking and, and their strategy behind it and say, why did you do that? And there's lots of other questions you can ask. And to, to get that more... Um, deeper thinking out of your students when they play this game instead of just haphazardly throwing things down there. That's the beauty of games is the strategy, the thinking, and that's what math is, the logical, mathematical thinking in, in math and in games. They go really well together. So, once again, if you want, want, this, want this, this book, head on over to my website with mathfilefoldergames.com slash store and use the discount code mathisfun. And I know that there, there's um, about 40 games in this book and there's lots of other books. I have a middle school book that would go well with this that also give you another 40 games. And there's lots of games that would help um, fill out your curriculum. 
and, and all your plans. And, just, and I really encourage you, start using games in your classroom more often. And your students will start, hopefully, um, is another one great way of getting them more involved, interested, and enjoying math. And that's one of the hurdles that we have as teachers, is helping our students enjoy math. And I, and I hope that my math games or any math games will do that for you. And that's all I have for you today. See you tomorrow. And thank you.